Hey guys, my name is Richard Doctor. And I'm Isaac Thomas. And uh, we're back for the seventh edition of 12. Starts a little bit late this week. We're busy um, the end of last week going to Vancouver Island. I'd like to thank uh, Zed Skim Boards and all those guys for having us out to the Island Skim Session. Also Smithbirds up in Falcon Beach for putting on a demo on Sunday. We had a lot of fun guys. Um, Isaac? Um, first? So for the first section of this episode, we're going to have a friend section at Alki Beach in Seattle, Washington. And then next we have... Following that we've got a uh, how to build a box tutorial with Tim Mackey. Um, and to end it, we've got a short little edit from Dashpoint on a flat box. Yeah, so check back two weeks. Uh, the next stop of the Northwest Skim Tour is coming up. It's the DB Pro-Am that's going to be on July 2nd in Federal Way, Washington. Uh, for more information, go to nwstour.com and uh, check it out. Alright, that's it guys. We'll see you for a new episode uh, this time in two weeks. seeing all your life the one inside a dream you repeat it every night for 24 frames every second through the light projected through the screen you've been paying for despite what you see and what you hear contrary to your sight everything you ever learned that you never had to live might have heard from a storyteller medium pictures words script to the cinema script writing a verse from this city emerges a new generation of babies who came out of the womb glued to the tomb with plans and aspirations to prove beyond doubt we are stars too even if it's just cartoons my animated hands that i got from the jeans of my animated fam i could never not be i'm here to make them scream like a hitchcock game with an analog dig it all shit is all the same an american tradition a narrative for fiction a hamilton for tickets the public is addicted just think for a second how much we've been conditioned to root for the doughboys the old dogs the bishops sided with them villains in spite of all the heated he says she gotta have it she says she didn't need it and even if she see it she will probably not believe it if it ain't being projected in a widescreen theater if it spins on a reel it's gotta be real for real and real Woo! life just remind us of film and now you say it's something's like a movie when it's real like a film's much realer than anything you feel in a cinema Try to say we bad kids from the start Grandchildren of Marx and Coca-Cola Yeah, quoting Godard And you saying that everything is cinema sense The moving pictures in the center of your living room Telling you shit like it'll never be shit Walk away from all your dreams Spark up, drop a lighter on a trail of gasoline Leading back to the vehicle you crashed before you came Never looking back, cut, boom End of scene in the cinema In the cinema In the cinema <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like that? Let me watch that. <laughs>
It's always a good idea to paint your box so that the wood doesn't get waterlogged. After you finish painting your box, it's time to frame it up. So this means that we're going to put five uh, two by fours at two foot on center on the top, and then we'll put three on the bottom for support. Uh, we'll put two two inch screws into each two by four. So you want to select the top edge, what, what is going to be the top edge of your box, and then put marks every 24 inches. Then take one of your two inch screws, then on the top third of that two by four, get ready to screw in. It's easy as that. Once you have all your 2x4s installed on one side, take the remaining side wall and place it on top and then screw it down. To mount the pipes on the box, we're going to do a process called bottom screwing. To do this, flip the top sheet upside down and then mark where you want to put the pipes. Find the edge and mark a half inch in on either side. Do this on both the front and the back of the box. Space, all the other pipes should be five and three quarters inch on center. So measure from the half inch mark in five and three quarter inches once, twice, and three times. Be sure to pull your tape from the same edge when you do it on the other side. <laughs> Once you have your marks established, oh, place one pipe on the edge. Be sure to mount it a pipe width from the end so you can put a cap on it so you don't have an exposed end of a pipe on the end of the box while you be hitting it. Place the screw about half an inch from the end of the pipe and gently ease into it. Be sure to hold tightly on the pipe because it's going to want to roll away. As you can see, once you establish a hole, it starts to suck back into the wood. Be sure not to go too far because then the tip of the screw may end up protruding out of the top of the pipe. Alright, now that you've completed the top sheet and the pipes are attached, you want to place it right side up on your frame. Now to do this, you want to look for the marks where you put the stubs in and then just kind of take an educated guess at where you want to uh, put the screw in. So for example, when we know a stud's right here, so we'll put a screw right there. And you can feel that solid. Now that we've shown you what materials and tools you need to make a flat box, go out there, do it yourself, have a good time. We seem to have a double rainbow over there. Double rainbow, bro! <laughs>
Bem, é.